we're here today and we have an exciting story to share. And we're here with Melody and Melody is our, our social services manager. Hi Melody. Hi. So why don't you tell us today and introduce who we have here with us today. This is Catherine. Hi Catherine. Hello. How great. Are you? Great. So tell us Melody what's going on. So Catherine, she's been coming to the center for some years now. Um, she, uh, prior to that, she has been homeless for years and she has um, been matched to housing now. And this is where we are here in her apartment. So she just kept following up. She just kept providing all the documents needed for this process in order to um, be housed. Uh, she just was, listen, she just kept just kept on coming to the center, accessing our homeless school, um, and um, and just continue to work with other organizations. So it took a collaborative effort to get her to where she's at now. Um, but Catherine got herself here. She really, really took the big initiative to keep continuing to follow up and do all the things and necessary things that are said. Well, Catherine, this is exciting. We're so excited to be here and have you invite us into your home, your new home. Mm -hmm. Tell us about what was the first exciting thing you did when you got to your new home? You know, it's like I wasn't over anxious about it because that's usually when I blow it. I was just grateful and humble and I know I deserve it. And it's been a long time and I've just been diligent and I've just... Um, done whatever it would because I have a good, I, I'll tell you one thing about being homeless, I, I got to find a great relationship with Jesus out there on the street and um, with no phone or no phone, no matter what the situation was, it's like I never worried because he was always right there by my side and um, I had asked him for uh, headquarters if he wanted me to continue to go out and work in the community and um, all of a sudden, I know it's like I just went to go get my mail from Melody and let her know that I needed a thing for my ID because they had stole my purse again. And then when she said she had the voucher at the extended stay, and so that kind of helped me transition to being here, being there. And plus, they have a cooking facility there, so I was there just cooking. And um, yeah, it helped me get acclimated back again into society because my sleeping patterns are different because I'm used to being awake at night mostly because, you know, somebody can come up on me. So it's like usually I sleep during the day on the bus or I was on the bus or the train sleeping during the day, you know, because at night it's like you got to be vigilant. You have to... I know God and Jesus were watching out for me. Well, that... However, nevertheless, it's like one setback turns into another and that's been so what was story. What was the, one of the greatest things about having your new home that you liked the best or that you was one of the first things you did when you came in for the first night? I'm gonna say probably cooked. You cooked? Yeah, I'm not gonna go out to eat for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's things that sometimes we take for granted, having our own kitchen, but to be able to cook oh, is something special. Water, the shower, you know, that's a big thing. The use of restroom. I mean, sometimes on the street, it's like with this Corvette, I would have to hold my ear for maybe sometimes for two days. I mean, there's nowhere to go. And if you go and they see you, they can get you from decent exposure. You, you know, know, we take things like that for granted, but just being able to have your own bathroom, to feel comfortable, to go to your own bathroom. And now you have, and to be able to sleep in your own bed. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, we're so we're so grateful that we were able to do this and help you into this uh, position, and we're so grateful that you're housed now. 